growing vegetables, cooking, designing landscaping, and running a green business. It's all part of the GEO Academy at Grant Union High School in Sacramento, California. The GEO Academy is an environmental science and design academy. Aaron White is the GEO Academy coordinator. I think it's very important for our students to understand some of the big issues that we're facing. It all starts right here in the campus gardens. We work in the garden and we just learn about plant um, restoration, um, plant habitat. Like we learn about everything that we need to know about the plants and the environment that we live in. That class, it's amazing, I love it. Anne Marie Kennedy teaches agricultural science and economics. So students start as a sophomore in 10th grade. They take a ag science course where they really learn about how to grow their own food and the science behind that. Um, and then they share that with the community. That means passing what they learn onto these elementary right. school kids. Okay, here in this group we're gonna do Seed planting and strawberry transplanting. Yeah. Yeah. These are sunflower seeds. seeds. They are California, California native, I think. And then whenever you pull them out, remember what did I tell you to do before you pull them out? You pull them out. <laughs> you massage the roots, right? Um, we showed them the types of flowers, like plant IDs. So we taught them different types of flowers and vegetables and the fruits and everything. And then we let them plant some seeds to grow some flowers themselves. The lessons for the younger kids don't stop in the garden. They take their harvest right into the school kitchen. Stir fried chicken and, and? And vegetable. All right, good job. Little hands and big knives might be a scary combination, but only at first. And who says too many cooks spoil the broth? At first when I came in and cooked, I was like, oh, so much vegetables. But when it actually, you know, when we actually began cooking, it was pretty good. And once the sophomores learn about nurturing and growing plants and fruit trees in the school garden, Three, two, one. as juniors, they apply what they learned in design to improve and sustain the world around them. Daniela Tavares is the environmental design teacher. They build upon skills. We're scaffolding on what they learned from their sophomore year. That knowledge is carried on into uh, junior year and it solidifies uh, with the curriculum and they make a connection. I like that it's really innovative and it allows us to be creative with landscape and to also promote sustainability. It's all green, so it's like what we're doing is based on helping the environment and beautifying the landscape as well. And it's not just theory. These design plans, this project is real. We got very lucky that a key part of that master plan got funded last year, which is the Pacer Promenade. Well, right now, it's a, <laughs> it's a pretty ugly walkway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a service road. It was never intended for student use, yeah. It's a complex plan, and the students designed it, working in partnership with college students in UC Davis's Landscape Architecture Department. And we are gonna destroy the current promenade, and we're gonna use all that material become support underneath for the new promenade that will be placed over. There will be trees on both sides of the promenade. On the right side there will be shorter trees and on this side there will be uh, big shade trees. Over the summer, the design became a reality. That old service road became an environmentally designed promenade for students to enjoy. It's all part of a larger plan to improve the campus landscape. So what's next for these students? Salsa, a business run by the seniors. Ooh. That's why these guys are at the Sacramento Natural Food Co-op leading a product demo. I don't care, it's delicious, what is it? The salsa business um, started about five years ago and the purpose of the, the salsa business is to give the students an opportunity to apply those soft skills that they've learned in the classroom to um, a real world situation. Is it spicy or hot? The seniors say the program is pretty hot. The class was structured for a green business because it is a green business. We grow everything green and we are one of the school's finest academies. But salsa sales are just the first taste of being in business. Once students really get a handle of you know, what is a business plan, they then develop their own business plan. Mine's was Kids Go Green. Our business aims to donate money for H2O for Life, which promotes clean water. So they learn about how to start that business, but then they also learn kind of green business practices. So from agricultural science to architectural design and business economics. I know how to build and grow my own business from bottom to top. These students graduate with real life skills 
and an appreciation for the environment. It's been great to see how students can understand that no matter what you pursue in your life, you can be environmentally responsible, and there's active things that you can do to conserve natural resources. It's important because you wouldn't want to live in, you know, a messy environment and stuff, so it's nice to grow healthy vegetables and plants and be able to eat them. It feels good to be part of something that is going to help your environment and the people who will come after you. I feel like I made a contribution to our community, just making it more um, environmentally friendly for um, everyone around.